Is that Grimlock? Why, yes it is. Listen to me. And listen to me good, you overgrown man-child. I don't know what Shockwave has done to you here, but I hope he hasn't affected your memory too much. Do you recall back before the planet-wide civil war, when I was your personal weed dealer? I didn't forget. Matter of fact, how could I? You, Snarl, and Slug smoked up my entire stock of marijuana and convinced me to give you a discount. Now, we're headed towards the end of the war, and my personal funds are getting low. I'll be the metaphorical bigger man and do you a favor though. I'll free you from Shockwave's kink chamber if only you agree to be my personal slave. Together, we could merc Megatron and live a life of grandiose proportions. You being my servant will atone for screwing me out of my money earlier. It is simply an offer that you cannot refuse. Star Scream. Ah, what are you doing, freak? Unhand me, you scoundrel. Just get a normal job like the rest of us. Wait, 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 stop! God. Bro, that intro got a little too intense, but ladies, gentlemen, and humans of all races and ages, welcome to another Izzy Man Diaz video, right off the rip. I just want to apologize for delaying this video. Your boy was cooking up video ideas in the background, and I was low-key fighting procrastination too. But we back, we back. I'm going to be covering the one, the only, legendary Hemlock, the Dino Demon in this video. Yes, sir. Listen though, I need you guys to subscribe and give this video to 500 likes. I'm gonna be cooking up a Clone Wars vid and a Black Air Force analysis on Shang Tsung for Mortal Kombat. So if you want those, then come through and support your boy. Plus, you know, like, <laughs> it's literally like free. <laughs> if you're still watching this video and haven't liked and subscribed, then you're just too broke to afford free things. But that's none of my business. <laughs> also, uh, come through and support the TikTok and gaming channels. I be going crazy over there, man. Links in the description. Anyway, that's all I got, gang. Sit back, grab some water, get something to eat, and you know, relax too. And strap in, boy. Let's get it. All right. So right off the bat. I'm only going to be covering Grimlock shenanigans from the live-action Transformers movies and Grimlock from the Fall of, Shiber <laughs> Shibertron. Fall of Cybertron game. I'll be completely honest, I'm not really too familiar with the vast majority of comics that Grimlock appeared in, so I might end up including him in a part two to this video. But anyway, let me tell you guys something, man. <laughs> oh boy. Optimus and Grimlock were going absolutely insane during the final battle of the fourth movie. On God, these two are putting up a masterclass performance. So I'm just saying, bro, they put up on a battlefield scene like that Kobe and Shaq highlight meme, and he looked tough doing it too. Don't believe me? Just watch, bro. Just watch. Optimus rallied his fellow Autobots and Dino Menaces and just absolutely ran through the streets of Hong Kong to smoke some KSI Decepticons. Their first victims were a squad of drones that looked absolutely flabbergasted that a giant robot T-Rex pulled up on <laughs> pulled up on them out of nowhere. They tried shooting their Glocks at our dangerous duo but then no avail optimus jumped off of grimlock's back and impaled one of them with his sword then spun around and used said sword to slice into another helpless individual while Hemtimus was doing his thing and flexing his swordsmanship in front of the audience noticed hemlock in the back sliding and stabbing someone with his tail and later chewed them apart that's my dino goat right there bro look at him go optimus and grimlock pulled up on even more victims and started putting them in the past tense prime was slicing and dicing these trash mobs like he was playing fruit ninja or something but he knocked some nameless dude off a balcony and Grimlock just ate him, dog. Oh my god. These deceptive clowns are standing no chance whatsoever. Just pack it up, y'all. It's curtains. Me personally, if I saw the robotic version of Jesus just slicing up my entire team like an anime protagonist, being partnered with a colossal Robo T Rex? Yeah, bro, I'm booking it, bro. I do not care. I know for a fact Megatron isn't paying me enough to stay and fight, boy. I'm gone. Wanna know what else is gone though? The lies of the Decepticons that Optimus and Hemlock continued to smoke, bro. Hemlock grabbed the dude out of midair and chewed him in half. You saw his bodily fluids everywhere, dog. He literally committed one of the most violent soul evictions I have ever seen. Hemlock had enough points to unlock his flamethrower score streak and turn these three deceptive cucks into molten mess. <laughs> he turned them into a molten mess. Then bro snatched one of these three victims up and ate him. Bro then ran up on one dude and... Literally snatched him and ate him while stepping on another, bro. Hemlock abducted, bro, like he was a. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm gonna stop that joke right there because it'll absolutely get my channel demonetized. But, uh, 
<laughs> Think of serial killers abducting people. That's that's uh that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, Hemlock still continued to snatch people up, bro. This dude is eating people up like a fat kid demolishing their school honey bun supply, bro. Jesus Christ! Bumblebee was getting the business given to him by Stinger, but our dangerous duo decided to third party and engulf the entire scene in flames and explosions, with Grimlock chomping down on somebody in the background. Oh my god! How many more dudes can he eat, bro? Somebody stop him! That's all that Grimlock does in Age of Extinction, but our dino demon does indeed slam our favorite police officer Barricade into a wall during the last night. Bro put up on a metal dinosaur and yelled, FREEZE! Like that was gonna do anything. No! <laughs> you not stopping Grimlock, little buddy. You're just not that guy, pal. Somebody had to break into him. I'm just being honest. I didn't expect anything less from our dino bot goat, though. I mean, bro even had the metal balls to challenge him to Miss Prime in a 1v1 in the first place. I covered this fight in my second Optimus Black Air Force energy vid. <laughs> Shameless plug, but check that one out if you didn't already. The, thir the third Optimus video coming soon. But Grimlock still lost that fight. Horribly. You saw how Optimus shook Bro's entire brain with a single punch? He definitely gave Grimlock CTE or something, dog. That's crazy. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being honest. I still gotta give Bro credit where it's due, though. Yo, him counter! Add plus a thousand points for even attempting to fight Optimus in the first place. Like I said, although Himlock lost the one we've won right here, at least he had the audacity to try and win. So, uh, <laughs> hey, dude, that's gotta account for something, right? All right, gang. Let's bring it back in. Now we have got to talk about Grimlock's rampage from Fall of Cybertron. He went crazy in there, on God. Before I even get to talk about Grimlock being locked away in Shockwave's prison chamber, Himlock did some vile things in his art of the game. This man tore off the heads of every Decepticon soldier he came across and shoved them in a locker. Bro, I was in the middle of playing Fall of Cybertron for my gaming channel, right? <laughs> Second shameless plug, but tap in. Your boy's a professional gamer outside of doing YouTube. I'm just saying. But I walked into Grimlock's quarters and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, you gotta watch this. Doesn't Grimlock have like a locker around here? Oh yeah. Is this Grimlock's post? It's, they're just going crazy over there. Oh my god. Grimlock's locker. Oh my god. Bro got severed heads in here. Oh, <laughs> oh this is perfect for the Grimlock video, bruh. Yeah, that is... That's getting included. I don't care. <laughs> I can't even do a violation counter here because the him counter's presence has already been established, but best believe I would have added like 500 points or something to it. Matter of fact, him counter. Add plus 500 points here. Bro was insane for doing this, but I mean, they pretty much were the bad guys after all, but it is what it is. Speaking of bad guys, now we gotta fast forward to Shockwave and the shenanigans that took place in his sex tower, I, I mean prison tower. Shockwave held Grimlock and his team as prisoners of war, and boy, let me tell you, this one-eyed psychopath was doing some gnarly experiments on them. Starscream woke Hemlock up from his slumber, but bro got caught up talking crazy to him. Even though Hemlock was held up in machinery to restrain his movements, bro was strong enough to say nah to them, put Starscream in a death grip, and threw him into the nearby control console to set himself free? Oh my god! Hemlock then tore down the doors and set every single nearby Decepticon on a first class plane ride to Primus himself! Dog. Grimlock ripped out his crazy looking sword and that alone was enough to put the fear of God himself into these trash mobs, bro. It was crazy. Borderline insane. Completely bonkers, if you will. Hemlock continued rampaging through Shockwave's prison complex. On top of turning every Decepticon he came across in a past tense, bro was so brutal in his killings to the point where he was able to literally perform Doom Eternal style executions on his ops. He was even able to regain some lost health by doing so, bro. He regenerates by slaughtering you. I swear to God, bro is literally the Transformers equivalent of Doom Guy. I'm just being honest. Grimlock eventually started walking down on the Insecticons too. Man split up on Hardshell who was using a turret to destroy both Grimlock and his boy Swoop. But Hardshell got bodied 
and Hemlock uses quote unquote corpse Bruh. to break a nearby control console. Heart Shell isn't really dead though. I think he comes back and transfers Pine, but that's not the point in this episode. Anyway, Grimlock started slaughtering even more bugs and would eventually make his way to the nasty looking Insecticon kickback. At this point, there are Dino Menace. Finally, unlock his ability to transform. Bro channeled all of his anger, all of his rage, and used it to turn into the absolutely diabolical Robo T Rex. Bro has a built in flamethrower, is able to create miniature earthquakes just by walking. Bro does all this on top of literally chewing these Insecticons in half. Good lord, bro, calm down. I forgot to mention this earlier, but Hemlock is even able to splatter both Decepticons and Insecticons just by picking up with only one hand and tossing them into something else, bro. They just be leaving stains on everything, man. Jesus Christ. Hemlock would eventually slice and stomp his way to Sharp Shot, but I'll be honest, dude, like, this man got treated like some fodder, man. It was it was sad. Hemlock walked up on Bro, partially no, 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 ate no. him, oh, and curb stomped no. him to the Transformers equivalent of Oblivion. Hemlock stabbed, executed, and eaten his way to Shockwave. Our Dino Demon attempted to walk Bro down, but Shockwave, being the maniacal nope. genius that he is, was trained Grimlock using these weird electromagnetic cuff projector machines. I'll be honest, I don't know what exactly they're called, but apparently the force of these things is so strong that nobody can break free of them. Except for Grimlock! Bro broke free of his cuffs, transformed, ate Shockwave's Ow. arm, and sent him flying, bro. Oh my god. He made Shockwave good on that Team Rocket timing, dog. Bro just got sent into the stratosphere and just disappeared. I can't believe bro did that to Shockwave go to all people. I gotta add like plus 500 points. No, not even 500 points. Plus 5,000 points to the him counter. Just for this one moment, bro. Unfortunately, that's the end of our tale about Grimlock. For now, anyway. I gotta get myself acquainted with Grimlock's comic appearances, so definitely expect the part two sometime down the line. On God. Ladies and gentlemen, humans of all races and ages, you made it to the end of the video, man. All right, so yeah. I know I didn't include anything from the comics at all, but that was my bad. I really didn't have proper time to do enough research on them for this video in particular, and I wasn't really like familiar with them either. But I got y'all with a part two. <laughs> I'll be honest though, I mean, I don't have a specific time frame in mind, but just know that it will absolutely be coming out sometime soon. But yeah, bro, I got a Clone Wars and a Shang Tsung video coming up next, but remember, you gotta show me that you want those by getting this video to crack at least 500 likes, man. Do that, and I got y'all. The chef will be making his return. Honestly, like, even if this video doesn't hit over like 500 likes or whatever it is, I'm gonna do the video anyway, bro, because, you know, I, I like doing it. I like doing his YouTube grind. <laughs> It's great, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. I got y'all. Anyway, though, that's all I got. Remember to eat, stay hydrated, and keep being kind to each other, bro. It, it is a necessity nowadays. But yeah, man, take it easy. Much love, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace out.